My name is Jim Grimaud. I'm with the Missouri Department of Transportation. I'm the project director, and I'm going to serve as your MC kind of for this morning's event. I want to thank everybody for coming out uh, to the celebration, and it, and it is a it, it is a cause for celebration to get this bridge uh, open to traffic. Uh, I was thinking a little bit. Um, we have actually worked on the construction of the bridge for about the last two and a half years. We broke ground in January of 2013. Uh, so two and a half years later, the construction is complete and we're ready to open it to traffic. But the reality is the work on this project started 20 years or so ago with the vision uh, that a new bridge needed to be built out here in the Chesterfield Valley. And there's been a lot of work that took place uh, that first uh, 17 or 18 years before we ever turned a shovel of dirt. So a lot of work uh, has taken place over the course of the last 20 years or so uh, to get to this point. And uh, we're just glad to be here. It's, it's definitely a great day uh, for the region, a great day for the folks that travel I-64 every day. So kind of what we're going to do this morning, obviously we're going to cut a ribbon, but before we do that, um, we're going to have several speakers, uh, several uh, federal, state, local elected officials and their representatives kind of say a few words. Uh, folks that have really been critical in getting this new bridge, getting this project to the finish line. They've done a lot of work for many years before we ever got out here and did anything. So. Several of those um, folks will come up here, share a few thoughts with you, um, and then after we have all that, then we'll actually cut the ribbon. Um, before we get started with our first speakers, however, uh, what I'd like to do, just to give you a little bit of an overview of the project. Um, like I said, we're gonna, we're done, we have completed construction on this new bridge. Uh, we're actually plan on opening it to traffic sometime within the next two or three days. We've got just a lot of work to do on each end to transition, to move, uh, to do striping, to remove striping, to put up signing, uh, to move concrete barrier in place. But um, after we get this new bridge open to traffic in a couple days or so, uh, we are going to begin work on the bridge to my right here. This is, bridge was built in the 1980s. As part of this project, we're going to be able to do a lot of timely rehabilitation work on that bridge, and we're going to be, do it, be able to do it uh, without impacting traffic at all. So it's a really a, a great time to do that. In addition to rehabbing that bridge, we're going to build about a half a mile of new interstate pavement on each side of the river, and that's going to allow us to transition westbound I-64 onto that 1980s bridge and transition the traffic back off um, onto the existing pavement in St. Charles County. So that work's going to take place over the course of the next six months or so. We're going to have that bridge open to westbound traffic by the end of this year. And then as we move into 2016, we're going to take down the 1930s bridge. We're going to do all the final grading and cleanup work you have to do on a project like this. We're going to complete the shared use path. And really, so about a year from now or so, we're going to be finishing the project. But this is definitely a significant milestone. This was really the purpose of the project to, be, to begin with, to build a new river bridge. So it's a great day, and it's definitely worthy of a nice celebration. So just wanted to give you a bit of that overview. So having said all that, uh, just to start off, um, I, know, I don't believe we have anybody here with us today from the Missouri Highway and Transportation Commission, but but they are the leaders of our department. Uh, they work with all the federal, state, and local elected officials every day. They really work on putting the plan together and determining what the priorities are for transportation around the state. Uh, working with, like I said, all the leaders all over the state. Um, no, none of the commissioners are here today. However, we just want to thank them for all their work, all the leadership they provide us every day to make things like this happen. Um, also, Federal Highway Administration, we sh we've got a few of those folks that are here uh, at the ceremony. Federal Highway is a critical partner in everything that MoDOT does on a project like this. Uh, we work daily with our Federal Highway represent 
representatives. They've been working with us for the last 20 years or so uh, to get everything in place, to make sure we're doing all the environmental studies, working with all the agencies that we need to work with on a project like this. So I want to say thank you to the Federal Highway folks um, uh, for all that they do every day with us to make projects like this happen. So, all right, um, what we'll do next, um, starting from the top, kind of our highest ranking federal officials that, that uh, help uh, Missouri and help MoDOT every day deliver great projects, our U.S. Senators Claire McCaskill and Roy Blunt. Um, Neither, neither of those two were able to join us today, but we do have a couple of their representatives that are going to come up and say a few words. So we're going to start it off with um, Brendan Fahey, who is a representative for Senator Claire McCaskill. On behalf of Senator McCaskill, I just want to say what an honor it is to be out here today. Uh, Senator McCaskill wanted me to stress a few important uh, important points about this project and the importance of the infrastructure. She wants, to, wants me to congratulate MoDOT, the state of Missouri, and all the officials in the communities that were able to participate and partner in this project. It's absolutely vital to the, our infrastructure and our economic development and our communities uh, engagement. So Senator McCaskill just also wanted me to stress that uh, while she's in Washington, D.C., she's been advocating, been a strong advocating for a, a long-term uh, transportation bill, a six-year extension that gives these communities more, more time to plan and, and project uh, future projects and enhance their uh, communities and their infrastructure to grow the economy and grow the communities and make it a stronger place for all their citizens. So on behalf of Senator McCaskill, I just want to congratulate everyone who participated in this project. All right, thank you, Brendan. Uh, next up, we've got Jen Jennifer Hoskins here with us, and she's uh, representing U.S. Uh, Senator Roy Blunt. So, Good morning. Thank you for the, inviting the senator to attend today's events. Um, he regrets that he's unable to be here, as he is still in Washington, D.C. The senator believes that infrastructure is an integral part of the economy. He has stated... Um, that across Missouri and the nation, our farmers, ranchers, manufacturers, and workers rely on strong infrastructure and transportation systems to move goods and services as quickly as possible. The Senator also recognizes the need to address transportation funding. Recently, Senator Blunt introduced bipartisan legislation with Senator Mark Warner. Um, the bill establishes a new infrastructure financing authority to help states and localities better leverage private funds to build and maintain the nation's outdated infrastructure. The building and renewing infrastructure for development and growth and employment, otherwise known as the Bridge Act, helps to address the nation's alarming investment shortfall in maintaining and improving the transportation network, water, wastewater systems, and energy infrastructure. This legislation would provide an additional financing tool for states and localities to create new jobs here at home while also increasing increasing our nation's economic competitiveness. The Senator Blunt also understands the nation's um, bridges are in need of improvements. Senator Blunt and Casey um, introduced the Support for Bridges Act in May. Also, I would like to take this time to thank Gary Elmstead, who is extremely helpful in providing information to our offers about the transportation priorities in this area. Congratulations on this great accomplishment and thank you again for inviting us to be here. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, next, uh, other federal elected officials that play a key role every day in bringing dollars to Missouri and, and helping to bring dollars to MoDOT as well, uh, all play a significant role in what we do every day. Um, is Congressman Blaine Lupkemeyer. He represents the district uh, kind of to the west of the bridge. And then we've also got Congresswoman Ann Wagner uh, who this is part of her district as well. Um, and, and we've got a couple of their representatives here today that are going to say a few words. So uh, Tanner Smith, uh, representing Congressman Luke Myers here. 
I don't have a whole lot to add to what Brendan and Jennifer just said, but uh, as someone who drives these bridges quite a bit, that 1930s bridge is kind of a 10 to 15 seconds of being puckered up if you're in a larger than a half ton truck. So we're pretty excited to uh, to have this new opening, and obviously the uh, the one of the government's any form of government's main jobs is infrastructure. So we're very happy for this, and hopefully. Uh, Congress can get something done in the next few months and have a long-term transportation bill to have a lot more projects like this in the future. Thank you all very much for having us and congratulations. Thank you, Tanner. And now we've got Jordan Fears uh, representing Ann Wagner's office and Jordan's got a few words for us. Thank you everyone for the invitation to be here today. On behalf of Congresswoman Ann Wagner, thank you to everyone involved in the completion of the Daniel Boone Bridge Project for your many hours of hard work. The bridge is an important piece in connecting St. Louis and St. Charles County. And the many tireless hours spent on this project will not only improve the safety of those on the road, but will also enhance the day-to-day -day traveling experience of citizens as they work, live, and play in Missouri's 2nd Congressional District. Again, on behalf of Congresswoman Ann Wagner, Thank you to everyone for all of your hard work. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Uh, as I'm sure all of you know, uh, the bridge that we've built here connects St. Louis to St. Charles County. And obviously on any of the projects we do in this area, uh, the county leaders play a great role in uh, securing the funding to identifying the projects that are the priorities for the region and play a great role in just making sure these projects, especially projects like this, uh, proceed, move forward, and eventually get funded so they can be constructed. Uh, so, so actually, we, on, the, on the state level, we've got um, some state senators that, that work in Missouri and the bridge is kind of in their districts. Um, on the St. Louis County side, uh, we've got Senator Dave Schatz. Uh, I don't believe he was able to join us here today. And on the St. Charles side, the state senators are uh, Senator Tom Dempsey and Senator Bob Onder. Both of those guys represent, represent St. Charles County every day. So I think uh, Bob Onder is going to come up here and say a few words to us. Well, thank you for having me here today. Uh, this is indeed a momentous day uh, for our county and for our region. Um, the, as we've known for decades, this westbound 1935 bridge was badly in need of repair and replacement. Um, this is another step forward, I believe, in the economic development of our, of our region and of our state. Um, indeed, there really can be no better economic to development tool for any region uh, than, than solid, uh, reliable uh, transportation infrastructure. So I'd like to congratulate MoDOT. I'd like to congratulate all the uh, public officials and public servants involved in this project and all of the contractors and workers involved in this project for a job well done. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, also, some state elected officials that uh, work in this area every day and have a lot of constituents to represent are our state representatives. And on the St. Louis County side, uh, our, our St. Louis County representative is Don Gosen. Uh, I don't believe Don is able to join us here today. And then on the St. Charles County side, this is part of Representative Kurt Barr's district. So Kurt's going to come up here and say a few words. I just want to come out and say thank you to MoDOT and all the hard work that you've done to put this project together. I want to thank the, uh, the local community leaders to uh, St. Charles County and Steve Ellman and also to the uh, um, to Weldon Spring and to the uh, other municipalities that have worked so hard to put this together. You know, growing up here in O'Fallon, growing up here in St. Charles County, we've seen the, the tremendous growth that we've, that we've had in the, the last 20 years or so. And the 
you know, the, the traffic, you know, coming home, if you're over, you work over in St. Louis County, you come home to St. Charles County that, that we've seen. And so the, just the sheer convenience, as well as the safety of having a new bridge, a wider bridge to, to allow us to travel back and forth for, for either shopping or working or, or fun, is just a tremendous boon for our economy as well as our, our infrastructure. As we continue to grow, as St. Charles County continues to grow, to have the infrastructure to keep up with that progress so that we can continue to attract businesses to our area because they know that they can you know, ship their goods and ship their people easily and safely to be able to uh, uh, continue with the, just the sheer population growth as people learn how, how wonderful it is to live in St. Charles County. So for the, the safety, for the convenience, for the economy, this bridge has, is needed. It's a great opportunity for our county and I'm so happy to be able to be a participant in this ribbon cutting. I feel like I'm late to the ceremony in just the sheer length of time it's taken for this bridge from, from the conceptual phase to the design to the, to the uh, construction. And I'm just so happy, so grateful to uh, all the people and all the contractors that have worked so hard and so tirelessly to make this day a reality. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kurt. Uh, next up, and I think I got a little ahead of myself earlier, but we've got our county leaders on each side of the river, and the, the county executive in St. Louis County is Steve Stanger. Uh, the county executive in St. Charles County is Steve Elman. And, and the county leadership, and I know on the St. Charles County side, they've been heavily involved in this project as long as anybody. And actually our county executives are on the board down at East West Gateway Council of Governments. They review and approve our transportation program every year. They play an instrumental role in pushing major projects forward and making sure those projects get forward, are funded for construction. So next up, we've got Steve Elman, and I'm sure Steve's got a lot of thoughts to share on the bridge and all the work that's been done over the last 20 years uh, to get to this point. So, Steve. Thank you very much. I'm always expected to give a little bit of history when we do these things. The 1937 bridge, I think, was one of the first times that uh, the highway department had a three-lane bridge with a passing lane in the middle. Uh, I don't know who came up with that idea. I don't think it lasted very long. But when I was a kid, that's what, that's what you had. You had one lane in each direction and a passing lane in the middle. I've been in office now for 27 years, and this is my fifth new bridge ribbon cutting. Can you imagine that? Five new bridges in the last 27 years. If you go back 10 years further, before I got in office, there have been seven new bridge crossings of the Missouri River for between St. Louis and St. Charles County. That, more than anything else, has helped tie our community, our county, with the rest of the region and totally integrate us in that economy. It used to be these bridges, you saw it was crowded going to St. Louis County in the morning and it was crowded coming to St. Charles County in the afternoon now in the morning and the afternoon you see people moving both directions. A lot of jobs have been created in St. Charles County. This is important not only to our county, but to the entire region. So I just want to uh, again thank MoDOT. Uh, I want to thank my predecessor in office, Joe Artworth. Twelve years ago, uh, he and MoDOT officials and federal officials got together and. Well, I should say we got together and convinced the federal officials to allow three lanes over there. Three lane bridge in the westbound uh, direction. To get that done, we had to promise that we would start working immediately upon a new bridge so that that would not be a permanent situation. Well, it took 12 years. Uh, it, initially, the county um, put $2 million into planning for this bridge. We were later reimbursed. Uh, by MoDOT, but again, it's another example of uh, federal, state, county officials uh, working together, and it's 12 years in coming, but you guys did a good job. Thanks, Ed. Thank you, Steve. 
Lastly, we really want to thank MoDOT, uh, MoDOT support, really from the Jeff City office and all the local uh, folks that work at, at MoDOT just in the district for all the work that they've done to bring this project to fruition. We're, we're regularly, our leadership at MoDOT is working with federal, state, county elected officials, county representatives uh, to identify the priority projects and to figure out ways to move them forward and get them to this point. And like I said, this project was uh, a work of 20 years or so to get to this point. But anyway, we've got uh, our chief engineer from ODOT with us here today, Ed Hassinger. So Ed's gonna come up and share some words of wisdom for us. It's really great to be standing out here today you know, when we try to put together a complicated project like this, there's really three things that gotta happen. You gotta get consensus on what you're gonna do, and that takes all of the people you see assembled here, whether it's federal, state, local, our communities, and to come up with what is the plan. And this took longer than probably most because there was a lot of issues to solve, but, but it happened because people were committed. So I wanna personally thank all of those people that were involved in that, whether you be a state or, or local or federal elected official, a community leader, the business community, it takes those kind of things to make a project like this happen. And then the next thing is to assemble the money. You know, this is a very expensive project and assembling the money with many, many needs around the state is really hard to do. So it takes a lot of tenacity and a lot of creative thinking to assemble the money to build a project like this. And then lastly, you got to have a lot of smart people to deliver it. So between the MoDOT team and the joint venture from Walsh Albarisi, I have never seen a team that works better together to get things done. And, and these guys had some real challenges, and here you see the fruits of their labor. So I want you to thank all of those people, whether it be in the planning, the funding, or the delivering the project. Give those folks a hand for all their great work. Now that's the celebration part of this, and I can't leave this, this venue without talking about the future. We have a huge issue in Missouri with funding transportation. We have 55 bridges that cross Missouri or Mississippi River bridges like this one that need to be replaced. And if you do the math, we build these bridges here to last about 100 years. That bridge over there, the 1930 bridge, by the time it comes down, will have lasted almost 100 years. Missouri's gotten their money's worth out of that bridge. Missouri's gonna get their money's worth out of this bridge because 100 years from now, there's gonna be a gathering here maybe to talk about what the new bridge looks like. Um, I'm sure he's happy about it too. Um, but, but if you think about it, that means we need to replace one of these major river crossings every two years. And we aren't even coming close to that. If you think about the last time we opened a major river crossing that was replacing an existing one, you take the Mississippi River Bridge out of that discussion, we're behind the curve. We don't have the money to even talk about building new bridges when we're actually not even working on 26,000 miles of our road in the state. So we've got to do something so that we can do more of this because you'll see the great benefits this bridge will bring to this community and we need to do that all over the state. So this funding problem we got is real and it's something we need to address. So while today is a celebration, we all need to have our eye on what are we going to do to find the money to replace the next bridge like the Boone Bridge. So thank you all. Thank you, Ed. All right, that, that concludes all our speakers. So the next thing we're going to do is actually cut the ribbon. But before we do that, uh, as Ed kind of mentioned a bit, we want to thank the joint venture, the Walsh Albarisi team uh, that was responsible for doing the actual bridge building out here for the last two and a half years. So thanks to them. Thanks to Burns and McDonald, the chief designer on the project. They were partnered up with the contracting team. They came up with the design. They worked long and hard uh, to, put, to put all the design and the plans together for this bridge. So thanks to them for all their hard work and 
ingenuity and all the things it took to get this project designed. Also want to thank all the project engineers on the project that were working out here every day, um, working to make sure that the, the design and the plans that we, to make sure the project looked like we wanted it to look like. So they been working hard for the last two and a half, three years out here uh, just to deliver this project. Also want to say a big thanks to all the men and women of the trades. The folks, when we were really uh, at our peak of construction out here, we had a hundred or so trades folks out here working every day, doing all the work that's required uh, to build a bridge, to build a project like this. And none of that would be possible with all their uh, work and their sweat that they put out here for the last two and a half years. So thanks to all those folks, we couldn't have done it without, without them uh, to get to this point. So a great day, a great day to celebrate. So what we want to do now is kind of invite everybody up around the ribbon. We'd like to um, Chesterfield Mayor Bob Nations to grab a set of scissors, as well as Weldon Spring Mayor Don Licklider. They're going to actually cut the ribbon. And everybody else from the joint venture uh, and MoDOT come up and gather around, and we'll get this ribbon cut. Thank you. Thank you.